guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a super quick two year update on our daughter Daisy. She turned two on May 23rd, 2019 and um, she is about 34 pounds and 34 inches tall. So she is a equal weight and height. She's still in the 90 something percentile for height and weight both and she has been there since she was nine pounds and 21 and a quarter inches long at birth. So she's just been a big girl. She's wearing about three T size clothing. She still has some two T's that fit, but I'm in slowly like packing up the two T's and her two T pants. I know they won't fit her by this coming winter and we live in Arizona where it's super hot. So I know she's not gonna be wearing the pants all winter, all summer. So I'm kind of like slowly packing those up. Her summer PJs have come out and those are two T, three T, but the two T winter PJs, they're gone. Like the footies that are fuzzy, you know, I'm like, she's not gonna fit those come November when it's actually cold enough for her to wear winter pajamas again so I'm just packing things up making room for baby um, as I'm filming this I'm about 26 and a half weeks pregnant and um, we are doing all the preparations for the new baby and reading books to Daisy like the book called mommy is pregnant from Amazon Daniel Tiger the baby is here um, waiting for baby kind of books like that teaching her about being a big sister Joanna Cole like I'm a big sister book um, she probably has five or ten big sister books and she likes to read them. There's one with Angus, like what to expect when you're expecting. It's like what to expect when, and then it's like, I'm a big sibling or whatever it is. And so she likes to read that one. Talks about what new babies are like and what they eat. And it talks about breastfeeding. And um, so that's kind of cool. Um, she gets to kind of experience it though. Like a lot of her friends or cousins have little siblings. So it's like, well, you know how so-and-so has a little baby brother? Well, that you're gonna be a big sister like she is, you know? And she's like, oh, okay. And she's still kind of, you can tell she's wrapping her head around it, but it's cute. Um, she seems excited. I don't know how excited she's going to be because she's still in a crib when her baby sister takes that room. I have gotten a lot of the decor in um, to decorate that room, but I'm not decorating it because it is still Daisy's room. Daisy's room is next door, but she's still in the crib in the nursery. So I'm like trying to hold off. Um, she may start jumping out of the crib at any point, but she seems perfectly happy. She sleeps through the night in it. She usually sleeps from about 7.30 or 8 p.m. to... Uh, six or so in the morning sometimes 5 30 sometimes 6 30 but generally it's like 7 30 to 6 um i'm out of breath sorry so she's super pregnant my belly's like Whoa. um anyway she um eats like a champ she loves food she loves drinking water um she's drinking milk twice a day just once at nap time which is around 11 or 11 30 after lunch and then once at bedtime around 7 7 30 she has uh, milk so she has probably about six ounces at lunch and then about 12 ounces at dinner, like at, after dinner. And that's also 18 ounces of milk a day. And that's like about normal. I think, um, I would be fine stepping it down, but she's happy. So as long as her doctor doesn't say anything, I have switched her from whole milk to 2% though. She doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Um, this last month when she was May 3rd, we got rid of the pacifier once and for all. We gave her a week's notice and kind of said like the fairies are going to come and take your pacifier soon. No more webinubs pretty soon. And so she was like kind of getting time to process it. And then when it actually happened, we did it on a Friday so that if she slept like crap Friday night, Saturday night, we could like nap during the day, you know, and we didn't have to work. But she did okay. Like the first night was a little rough. She woke up and asked for the webinubs and we just said, you know, the fairies took them. And now once in a while, it's been a few weeks, she'll say, the webinubs took my pacifiers. Or she has a baby doll that had a pacifier. Like it's not a, you know, one that she would suck. It's like a plastic nub. But she'll put it in her mouth and say, I have a pacifier. I'm a baby. And it's like, you're not. She'll say, goo goo gaga. And she wants to pretend like she's a baby. And I don't know if part of that's because she knows the baby's coming and I've been like preparing her for that or if she just wants to pretend she's a baby so she has a pacifier, but she'll tell me, I'm not a baby, I'm a big girl, I don't need a web and up. Web are for babies, or the fairy took my pacifier because I'm a big girl now. You know, like she knows, she understands why we took it or the fairies took it. <laughs> That's just what I was, you know, I read about, people were saying like Kendra Atkins on YouTube too was saying that's what she told her girls and then they don't have pacifiers and that, that was fine. So she was only a nap time and bedtime pacifier user for the last six months anyway, so it was pretty, I wouldn't say it was easy, but you know, compared to what it could have been. We had our birthday party um, last weekend. It was Finding Nemo or Finding Dory themed water party outside and the little pools and everything. It was a lot of fun. Pizza, snow cones. Um, the kids had a lot of fun. She got some great toys and presents. Um, what else? She loves talking and she never shuts up. <laughs> she reminds me a lot of me, actually. And that's what my mom says too. She's like, oh my gosh, she's just like you when you were little. 
like we'll go on a walk and she just runs the conversation like she speaks in complete conversations everything oh there's a bird in the tree mommy you forgot to put my bug spray on oh did you see that car there's a white pickup truck let's get the mail i'm gonna use the key like i mean she doesn't stop penny's walking oh penny's peeing in the grass like she just tells us about her dog you know she just narrates everything and i think that's because that's how i t told her like i narrated our day from the get-go i'll be like i'm gonna change your diaper now i'm gonna lay you down okay taking off your pants like i would tell her what i was doing when i was changing your diaper so now she just talks about her day I'm eating carrots. Yes, you are eating carrots. Are those good? Yes, they're delicious, she'll tell me. And she's so sweet. She'll hug you and kiss you and hug my belly and she'll say, baby jumped or baby kicked, you know? And, and she um, talks and she gives, say, I love you, mommy. And she sings the ABCs. She counts to 11, only 11, I don't know why. But she also says, now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? 11, 11 comes at the end of the ABC song. Haven't figured out why, but she does. it does. She loves climbing in the playground. She loves the water. She loves the pool. She has this float. She wears a life vest thingy, like a weight, you know, supports her. But then she also wears a ring around her belly and she wants to swim by herself. So we're talking a lot about, you know, you don't go by yourself. You only go with an adult. Of course, our pool is gated and we keep it shut all the time. But um, yeah, that is just something that she does like to do. She says, I want to do it by myself about a lot of things. Um, she also just loves um, being, you know, a big girl. And she wants to be able to do things on her own when, whether I want her to or not. She wants to brush her own teeth and then I have to get in there and really do the good job at the end, you know. Um, she doesn't love her hairbrush, but we have not given her a full on haircut. She just had her bangs cut, um, but I'm getting ready to do that. She loves it when I paint her nails. Sorry, my dog's freaking out. It's okay, Penny. Um, my dad's here now for lunch. Uh, but yeah, she is getting ready for her first haircut. Um, I keep tying back her bangs to keep them out of her eyes. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Watching her grow up has been a great time. And we are so excited to bring another little one in the world now that Daisy is more self-sufficient. And she loves getting dressed. She loves playing dress up and dolls and Legos and stuff like that. She's a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this update. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.